Hi all. So uh, one uh, tutorial that I see quite lacking in the uh, midst of YouTube is a decent uh, tactical engagement tutorial for Falcon BMS. So the TE Builder is essentially a single mission creator but it can be used to create dynamic missions. So as you can see it's a fairly extensive list that are included for training then saved you can make your own and they include some multiplayer ones that you can use so to start off you just hit T Builder and then you get this screen for making your map so first off teams you can create as up to seven teams which you just do that by hitting new then you just delete them by hitting delete so you can change the name of them so instead of DPRK you want this to be NATO you can actually also change the flag to NATO or and also change the colors so I'll add another team so that will be South Korea change the name just as easy but as you can see uh, on the map USA has all the blue section, NATO has all the red, then there's no green. The way you do that is hit the paintbrush, and then you can just paint where you want the your team to go. So in this case it would be Team 3, South Korea. So if you want to race completely and make it neutral, you just hit the racer. Then you can just erase in the same way that I was just painting up there. So I want to make the DMZ completely neutral, you can do that. But if you want to do total hard reset on everything and not have to worry about constantly doing this on everything, you can just hit the atomic bomb and it just clears everything. So I'm just going to do a quick uh, little uh, examples. I'm going to paint some of this stuff. So. Oh, this is automatically translated on the, the map, so I'll just paint the top portion where China and Russia are approximately for Team USA, which is kind of ironic. Then NATO, I'll do a little bit more south. So you can get very precise with this. I've not delved too much in it. This is more meant to be a basic intro tutorial but I will give you the tools to make whatever tactical engagements that you so desire so now that's covered now I can do South Korea just paint that green So you get that picture on the small map right there, and then if I go back to the mission builder, you can see how that is reflected. So blue is the US, red is NATO, then the green is South Korea. So one thing that you can set is victory conditions, So or you can say like 100 points for victory. Then you zoom in on the map and then you select different objectives. So if you want new victory condition, you can choose what team it's for, then sign. So it's an individual location. So destroy, pretty obvious. Pretty much that way you want to destroy. Degrade also destroy for the occupy for the operational efficiency. Then occupy means that you can take. Then you can change the amount of points that's associated with that. And then you can do that as many times as you like. And you can also set the time limit. Change it between engagement and sortie. Sortie would be only one flight. Engagement is much more extensive. So now you're in the map here. 
see all these options. The first option is that you can set a squadron. So let's say for a Kempo Air Base right here, I want a squadron of KF-16s. Click on that button. Right there for adding a squadron. Hmm, that's not working right now. For some reason. Oh, well, I'll go on. So on add a flight. You can just tap where you want the target is. So like right there. You get all the selection of aircraft. Some you might not regularly see in the campaigns. So going all the way down to KF-16. Then different starting air bases. So I can make that start of Kimpo. Then the different points. So if I want to start at Ingress. I'll select that, and then hit OK, then it will create itself. So you can see it's already en route, and if I want to back up, I can just change the time that way. Then to change the loadout on that, you hit the munitions tab, which is right here when you have the flight selected. So it will be the same uh, loading screen that you see for loading out in the campaign. Just choose the weapons that you want, outfit it, and even though it says it's in there, you can still change it and it will reflect changes once you're in the, the actual tactical engagement. Then package, same way that you add a package in the actual campaign, so changing teams you can just do this, so if I want to make NATO, for example, go after Seoul, add package. And I can just find what I want to add. So if I want to add, for example, block 40, escort. No, I need to make the Oka Strike first. That's something. Oka Strike. Then you can make an escort. and make that an entirely different aircraft as well. Then there you have that. So, must have accidentally says an AI, whoops, oh well, but you can see here you can change the loadout. Then right here you can add uh, naval forces, so you can just tap, bring up a naval force if you want to bring up a carrier. You have different equipment, but it doesn't really matter, so if I want to go to Soviet and want to go to the carrier, you can add that. It takes a few moments for it to load in, then there it goes load in. Then to change uh, who owns it, you can just hit set owner. I want to make this US. It will take a moment and then it will change colors. Disappear initially. And then pop back in. So you can just move this around to your heart's content on if you need to. And uh, that's pretty much the basics. And then one final thing, you can add ground units. It's this SA-2 launcher right here. So let's say we want to make some South Korean forces go take this town. So I'm going to have them spawn in right here. Go make it Republic of Korea. Then I can make an armored battalion. Hit OK. Uh, by default, spawned as NATO, but I'm going to change it 
to South Korea because I have NATO selected right there. And change this to South Korea. So in that circle right there I can move around so that they are, will have orders to go ahead and move and take that city. So that's pretty much the basics of building TE. You can mess with the weather, same as the campaign. Other than that, I don't think I'm really missing anything right now. Yeah, that just shows you the different flights. This is a briefing, a typical for a campaign. Order bell, identical to what is in the campaign. And that will be it. So, let me know if you have any further questions or comments down below and I will get to them as soon as I can. Again, this is a very basic overview. It's designed more as a stepping stone for people to get into TE building, but beyond that, it's up to you to learn and if needed, I can learn how to do more advanced functions on this, but it's relatively straightforward to use. So hope this tutorial has helped out and I will have the install to combat ray video hopefully edited and uploaded sometime this week so cheers